Hey guys, because this will be simpler than doing a post and posting a bunch of pictures, I have um, some announcements too for our Black Friday sales. So I want to show you guys some of the new arrivals that's going to be here at the bookshelf and talk to you about some other things and show you um, some things in the store as well. So I'm going to do that in a video. So I'm going to show you some of the things. Literally just got these in. These are cute. But I've got a bunch of different stuff in today. It's like I bought a little bit of everything and kind of excited about some of the stuff. And you know, I've got some stuff for my own collection, which I'll not be showing you, of course. <laughs> got a bunch of these cute little love stories. These are cute. Winter is not forever. Thank God for that. There's seasons. <laughs> Seasons in Life, Beverly Lewis. Got a lot of hers back there. Just different things. Got a big, huge stack over here of what I'm showing. Might be moving just a little bit fast, but of course, come in and check everything out. Got a bunch of little paranormal paperbacks as well. These are cute. They're like different... Um, States. It's kind of cute. Some kind of little little series. I think I've got some of those back there. Some of this series as well back there. This is cute. I read the back of this and it says, Pink is not what Eleanor Braddock ordered, but maybe it would soften the tempered steel of a woman who came through a war and still had one to fight. I was like, ooh, interesting. Like I've got very much time to read right now i'm reading my seventh book in my series and finding out that i really didn't edit it to death i'm finding a lot of stuff and i'm like you've got to be kidding me <laughs> this is killing me i have some of these back there i don't think i have this particular title but i've seen these before and i was like that's kind of interesting maybe you should check it out and i was looking at it and because i love paranormal stuff of course and she's a shapeshifter and I just, I don't know, like, I've never been, you know, really into shapeshifters. Look how cute. Moose. Oh, little invisible moose. Cute. I have several of this author back there. This is cute. Charlene's Chocolate Factory. I've not been able to find a date in the front, but in the back, there is a offer, and it says, this offer expires 1087. So it's definitely 80s. Super cute. Have, she's familiar. I've got some of her back there, I believe, as well. I have a travel section. I think this is cute if you're planning on going to Africa. I think it would be fun. Get to see all the animals. And look how cute. The giraffe. Got um, suspense, mysteries, just all kinds of stuff. This looks cute too. Things a little bird told me. Confessions from a creative mind. And this is co-founder of Twitter. Wrote this. Biz Stone. I'm trying to read like backwards, so <laughs> you have to be patient. But Sandra Brown, got a lot of her. Got some teen stuff. Some YA. Life of Pi. I thought this was really cute. Y'all know I love Jesus. Cute little CD with it, too. And this is only $2.99, so I try to help sometimes show you guys some of the prices. I've had, you know, inquiries about that. Books are extremely expensive. Paranormal romance, mysteries. I try to keep everything very affordable because I want everyone to be able to afford a book. Or several, if you're like me. Because I go nuts. Like you would not believe the books that I have. Or maybe you would. I've done a YouTube video on my book collection. And then was in storage. Look, found this. Found a lot of Anne Rice. I've never even read her. And it's so funny because I love vampires. I'm not read her. And it's like, it's almost like I'm afraid to. 
And I don't know why. Like, I don't know if I'm afraid I'm not going to like it. Because I'm not... I don't know. I've not really read anything vampires except for paranormal romance. But I am working on a book that is um, like a drama type thing vampires and it's like old-fashioned vampires not like my vampires so i don't know i think i should try it let me see might be good but like i was saying before i had my squirrel moment <laughs> i was in my storage and found after i done that video of my book collection and i found like several more totes and boxes of my books in my collection and I've been fighting trying to get them to fit in my apartment. <laughs> I actually had a friend give me another bookshelf. She's like, here you go. We don't need it. You know, that'll help you some. So, that was very nice. This caught my attention. Under the Cajun Moon. Made me think of uh, the originals. I love Klaus. But this is Suspense. So, might be interesting. Oh, cute. Bunch of cute little stuff. See, I make my little stacks and they fall over. This is a uh, historical inspirational love stories. These are cute. I've read some of those inspirational love stories and they're really good. They really are. They're very good for like, um, if you are a spiritual person like myself, it's um, very helpful. I read one a long time ago and um, there was a part in it that's always stuck with me and she said, after all that God does, he still has time to paint the sky for us. And that's just always stuck with me. Lee Child. Got a lot of those back there as well. More of these little trade back love stories. This one's pretty antique -y. Looks like military fiction. I think that's what it is. And this is cassettes. This is audio. And I actually think I have this book back there as well. He's great. <clears throat> look how cute this is. Oh, look at the little bears. I know my books are like getting in the screen right now. Sorry. So you can see. Yeah, I'm having a hard time here. I don't have my tripod in here with me. I'm just using the register and my slate to tell the phone up. So you do what you got to do. You might do with what you got. Just one more swim. Look how cute they are. I love children's books. And I've actually, I have a really huge tote, and actually even more than that, of children's books that's going to be coming out here, or I've been kind of playing with some ideas for Christmas of wanting to do some things for the kids for Christmas, so I'm probably going to do that. I've not decided exactly yet what I'm going to do, but I will let you guys know about that because I just, I have a lot of children's books that I'm going to be doing something with um, for here or, you know, Christmas, which it'll be here, I'm sure. You know, and I, of course, I'll be doing things uh, with the church with them, and I'm excited about that. Uh, several of them are new. There are a lot of them are, excuse me, in absolutely great condition. So, everything. I'm a huge, huge collector. So, excited about that. Let you guys know what I decide. You know, I'm a thinker. This is a cute cookbook. I was flipping through there and I was like, mm, probably ain't never going to cook this stuff. Put it in the store. Stop. Because I have a lot of cookbooks too that I don't ever use. I cook like the same things pretty much all the time. You know, which is like breakfast and I'll have supper and stuff, you know, of course, but same stuff. All the time. I don't need all them. Just like I don't need all the books I got. But I like them. <laughs> so I enjoy them. I enjoy to look at my books. They make me happy. Found these. They were cool. <clears throat> and these. That's paranormal and another inspirational. These, Most of these paperbacks are like $1.99. So. This one looks like it's brand new. $1.99 inspirational. Looks like a contemporary romance. <clears throat> Couple more of them. This is cute. That was real cute. <laughs> this is cute though. Mark Twain, this I have to put some tape on it. It's trying to, to 
feel right there. This cute little old historical book. That, I thought that was kind of funny. Another mystery. And this is cute. I don't know. I didn't look at it a whole lot. It's got some poetry in there. And it reminds me of when I used to um, type on a typewriter. I never actually worked on any books on a typewriter, which I would love to because I thought it was so cool. And I had one of those really big old like plastic ones. Not even one of the cool metal ones, but I'm looking for one because that's on my list. But I remember playing on one. Like when I was maybe like 10 or 12, and I really liked it. So that made me think of that. I just thought it was cool. So you never know what I'm going to bring in here, what I'm going to find. God's all time blessing me with something. And I don't know why. <laughs> I sat in my car today and I was like, God, I don't know why you're so good to me because I sure do not deserve it. No, Roberts. I'm trying to look for, <laughs> sorry, I was trying to look for a name. George Pollack, I don't know. Looks kind of interesting, though. It's a true crime. Oh, not even a mystery. It's a true crime. Got a lot of Stuart Woods back there, if you like him. Last one right now. This is cute. I think these little books are cute. I think I have some of these back here. It's actually kind of big, but it's just, it has a little tree on the front. I've always thought they were so pretty, but it's Simple Abundance, A Day Book of Comfort and Joy. Sarah Van Rethnick, I think is how you say that. I know, I have one of these at home, and I have read, well, not home. My home's, you know, not on this earth, <laughs> but at my apartment. I've read a book by her like this. I've read uh, something out of it. i done a video on it like a long time ago. That's why it's familiar to me. I don't think it was this one. I think it's blue, like the cover's blue. There's a video out there somewhere of me reading something out of it. I don't remember what I was reading, but it must have been something good, or I thought it was good to be making a video about it. But Lord, I might make a video about anything. You never know. But now that I've got you through that stack of what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to show you these baskets. <clears throat> See what time it is. Yeah, we're closed. I'll lock the door real quick so I can do a video. I was going to do a video of... I'm going to throw our open sign in the floor. Um, do a video. And I had a customer come in. And I thought I hit stop and I didn't. So, turn the open sign off as well. <clears throat> okay. Now I'm ready. You guys got all my attention doing this video. <laughs> but as you can see, I've got all of these baskets back here. And the pictures are really not doing them justice, and the video's probably not going to either. You kind of can't see through that little clear wrap what's going on. But they all have, like, books or maybe a coloring book. I have them for women and men, children, you know, just all kinds of stuff. And for the Black Friday sale, we are going to do... Or I'm going to do, and I've already posted on this, but I want to try to do a video. And, um, I was trying to, like, you know, straighten up books. So, you, I have squirrel moments, and I'm in here, and I'm like, I'm wanting, I see books out of order, and I'm trying to straighten them. But anyway, um, I'm going to do 10% off gift baskets for that day. And then I have... For books, and this is just books, I'm going to do um, spend 25 get $5 off. And then I have these little things that I posted. They're made by Amy, which is my mother. I'm sure you need to know. But um, they are handmade. They are super cute. If you can get a good eye on them in this video. I'm not a video genius, but... She does these with little nails, puts the ball stamp in there. I don't know exactly how she does it, but puts the flowers in. They're super cute. These are normally 25 and they're going to be 20 for the Black Friday sale. So come in, stop by, um, hang out with us. Me and Sherry's going to be here. They're leaving. Tina's leaving me and Sherry here 
unsupervised. So, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> no, you guys are welcome, though, to come. We're um, going to have a good time and do some sales. And hopefully, if you've not been in to see this shop yet, come in. And I can see myself. I've got dry skin on my nose. I swear, whether it's summer, whether it's winter, I'm sure a lot of y'all know the feeling. It's all the time something. Dry skin. My skin's awful. Anyway, but when I'm doing these videos with you guys, as you all know, if you do videos, you can see yourself. So it's kind of like I'm talking to myself and doing a video of myself. So if you see me doing crazy stuff, you know what I'm doing. But feel free to come in and bring the kids. Get in the tree. Please be good to the tree. It's gent It's like sensitive. I was going to say it's gentle. No. <laughs> it's sensitive, so please be good to it. But I'm excited about it. I'm wanting to probably do some more stuff. I believe there's going to be some more critters and stuff come out. I think there's some hiding right now. So, excited about that too. But I love you guys. And if you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to subscribe. This is Nikki coming to you from the bookshelf, my bookstore. And as far as what's going on right now, it is getting ready for Black Friday sales. Putting more books out. I'm super excited about that. You guys come in and somebody needs to come and buy a lot of books so that I can shelf more books because I have a lot of books in storage that I really want to get out, which right now I don't have a lot of room. But um, I'm thankful for the room. I'm thankful God's put me in an amazing place with amazing people. And I know um, when God's ready, there'll be more space and everything like that and we're actually um fixing to build some more shelves so super excited about that as well i feel like i'm seeing glitter or something on my eye sorry <laughs> like i said <laughs> but i love you guys i'll see you later hope you have an awesome weekend please be safe and if you're local um just a reminder we're having a coat drive tomorrow at church so if you are in need or if you know someone that is in need, please come. We would be so happy for you to come. Please um, share this and let people know or, you know, share the, like I posted about it. You know, let people know. We'd be happy to help. Um, don't feel, don't not come. You know, if you're in need, if you need a coat, please come. We would be more than happy to help you. There has been a lot of donations, and we're happy to do that. So don't feel ashamed of that if you need some help. We all need some help sometimes. And I had someone tell me that, and I definitely don't like to ask for help, but sometimes we need it. So I love you guys, and I'll see you later. So if you're watching on YouTube, like I said, subscribe or page, share, whatever you want to do. I'll see you guys later.